It was 11 p.m. I got the email from a client, we'll just have to make do. And I realized I had failed. When she first hired me, the conversation went like this. Brooke, I am paying for you out of my own personal pocket because it is so absolutely vital that this shoot goes perfectly. The day before the actual shoot, we went with an entire team and pulled together tons and tons of recipes. The day of the shoot, it was hours and hours of preparation, putting together the table, making sure that every single image was captured. The problem, I shoot natural light and the only source of natural light was a single overhead skylight. I should have known. I should have known that it would not be enough. A couple of days later, I'm in Lightroom, I'm calling the images, and I know that I have failed. There is not a single image that I'm proud of. And that's when the email came in. We'll just have to make do with what we've got. There was no way that I'd be able to live with this. There was nothing to do but pull together a reshoot. It was way more important for me to do this right. So last night I was up cooking two Thanksgiving dinners so that today we can get back into the studio and reshoot this thing right. I remember this night a couple of years ago. It was almost midnight. I was going through my emails and I had gotten another rejection from another client. And right after that, a second email came in and I had been rejected for running ads on my website because my traffic wasn't enough. I just sat there and I thought, oh, why am I doing this? I'm no good, right? Like I've had minimal success, but it all feels like luck. It takes so much work and everything is always changing. I'm up late all the time. I'm constantly chasing this dream. I see other people who are better at it than I am. Maybe I should just quit. And then I thought, no, you know what? I want in this game. I chose to be in this game because I like the fight. I like pushing myself. I want to try to be the best, even when that means staring down the scary truth that maybe I'm not yet the best. But you know what? I know I can be. And the reason that I know that is because when I get up and I do it again, every day I get better. I never feel better than when I push myself to the limits, when I just work crazy hard and give it all I've got. Love isn't easy, but it's worth the price. Love isn't easy, but it's worth the try. Love isn't easy, but it's worth the price you pay. It just takes a little if you do it right. Just takes a little bit of compromise. It just takes a little if you do it right away. And I'm lucky, and I don't. And that is the idea behind a weekend retreat called the Foodie Boot Camp that I am putting together with Lindsay Cotter. It is two days dedicated to that insane creative drive that we all have. Two days to photo shoot, two days to style, two days to work, two days to create up to 16 original blog posts, two days to remind yourself, no matter how you're feeling today, that you got this. It does not matter where you are today. All that matters is are you gonna wake up tomorrow and keep going and keep fighting? Because if you do, I guarantee you still may have some reshoots, but you are gonna go so far. If you wanna be surrounded by the kind of amazing, ambitious energy that gets crap done, then I would love to have you come and join us at the Foodie Boot Camp. You can learn all about it at thefoodiebootcamp.com. It's held October 4th through the 6th in the absolutely gorgeous rustic studios of Ember in Salt Lake City, Utah. We would love to have you there. Come on, let's get this thing done.